Gratitude is rare. Sharing and caring is rare. Empathy is rare here. And kindness is rare. These things are rare and beautiful. They do exist in this realm, but we brought them in here. It doesn't mean that this realm is good because there's goodness here. It simply means that good spirits brought such things into here. It doesn't mean that the, quote, creator of this realm is good because there's goodness here. A good person can walk into a bad neighborhood a good person can walk into a house full of gangsters that are murderers. Doesn't mean they're all good. It means a good being walked in there. That's what it means. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm sorry if this comes across wrong, but I've tried to explain this in other ways, and it doesn't seem to be getting through to quite a few people. They seem to keep crediting this realm with good things, with goodness, with beauty, with kindness. And at the same time, they won't put any blame on this realm for the way it's designed to be evil and to cause suffering. That has nothing to... Suffering not by choices, not by free will. They don't understand. I don't know how to break through to these people. They are under mind control. Okay? Whether they're in cults or not, They've been put under mind control just by being in this realm and uh, exposed to what's in this realm. I'm doing my best. I never said I could help everyone see this. If you can't see that this realm is evil by design and that goodness is brought in here by us, it's not the realm itself generating it, a realm that's actually ruled by evil, it's undeniable. You don't have to do the, th the decades of research that I've done to see that. Should be able to see that pretty easily, okay? Um, so when people say that I don't have evidence, I don't know what world you're observing. It must be a totally different realm or reality that I'm looking at. It must be, it must be, or you're mind controlled to the point of of mental blindness. Let's put it that way, and moral blindness too. By the way, you're not moral if you don't see. You're not moral then, okay? If you're defending evil, you're not moral. It's pretty simple. So, I'm doing my best. I don't know how many I can, more I can break through to. I always said I'd be happy if I could reach thousands. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the number is going to be, but wow, I'm running into a brick wall with some of these, some of these people. Some of these people that just got here and they think they know everything. They're brand new to my channel, and I mean, I don't know what to say. Should I send them, send them over to Dolores Cannon and Alan Watts and uh, Quantum of Conscience? I mean, they're free to go there if they want to. There's lots of channels, and some say they don't know what channels I'm talking about. Well, you know, some are so new they don't understand that most, quote, true channels on YouTube are controlled. They don't know that much, but they're trying to cor correct me on high-level shit. They're trying to criticize me on higher-level shit, and they don't know how to spot the chill, chill channels yet. They're at that level. You're a newbie truther. You're a truther sheep, okay? Um, you don't know what I'm doing here, okay? You don't understand what I'm doing here, and hopefully you do one day because... Uh, like one of my friends on here, I consider her to be a friend at this point. New friend, but we are getting to know each other over the weeks. And uh, she posts a recycling symbol for them. Where it's just like, don't even bother. She's basically saying, sending a message, don't even bother wasting energy. They're just going to be recycled. And maybe that's the case. Maybe I'm trying to help people that are just going to be recycled. That no matter what I say, it's not going to help them. I don't know. Or maybe I just haven't been patient enough. Maybe I haven't given them enough time. Maybe I have to suffer their, their insults and ignorance and, and uh, 
you know, criticisms and uh, nitpicking at my videos and everything else. Maybe I have to suffer that for months or weeks. But what do I get out of it? It's not that I want, I don't want money, obviously, or praise, but why should I just suffer more here? I've already suffered a lot in this realm, more than I can go into on YouTube. There's some stuff that I can't even say on YouTube or I'd just lose my channel, if you see what I'm saying. I really couldn't say it the way I could say it in real life in person. I can't just say those words and stuff on here. I can't do it because, you know, the AI of YouTube that checks my videos before they're uploaded is just going to fucking flag that sh right away. So my point being is uh, I have suffered in this life <clears throat> and I've seen my loved ones suffer and die. I've seen my pets suffer and die and tried to end, <clears throat> end their suffering. And uh, I've heard of suffering from others that I'm close to and that they've lost their pets and I've tried to comfort them. And it's just, it all piles on and it builds up with me. Maybe it doesn't with ones without spirit. Maybe they, maybe it doesn't bother them. They just move on and, oh, I got a new job and making more money now. And they talk about money all the time. That's a, that's a red flag for me. People just keep talking about money and they got a good job. and it's, that, it's, it's, That's great. Thumbs up. You're in hell realm. You're making money. That's part of the system here. All right? That's part of what attaches you here is money. In God we trust on the American pyramid with the detached all-seeing eye hovering above it. Um, do you understand that? That's basic truth through 101 stuff. So these people that come here that think they know everything all of a sudden, when I can tell they were asleep when they got here. Like, what are you doing? You're not fooling me, if you know what I'm saying. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, um, and talking about money. I don't want to hear about money. I don't want to talk about money, whether it's a, on my channel or in private chats or emails. I don't care how much money you make or what you, that, that's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be a billionaire. I just shrug and be like, so what? When you die, you, you lose all that. You're, you're playing for money in a rigged casino. Am I supposed to be impressed? I mean, are you foolish? You, you don't understand that much yet? I mean, what are you talking about, man? Like, what are, you, what are you talking about on my channel with that shit? You know? I don't care how much money you make or, you know, how good your job is or any of that stuff. It's irrelevant to what I'm doing here. Completely irrelevant. That matters as much to me as if you started telling me Hollywood celebrity fucking gossip when I don't watch movies and I don't own a TV, okay? And I know that they sold their souls. They made the deal to get fame and fortune. They're in the club, okay? I'm aware of all that. I was many, many years ago. So if you're trying to impress me with that stuff, it's like, money, what are you talking about? And then saying that you're awake and stuff and you know about all, I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know, I don't, just don't, I don't, you know, so the fake ass quote truthers, you're getting recycled. If, if money's your focus, you're attached to money, money's a big concern here, whatever, you really don't want out of here. And maybe that's why you don't get what I'm talking about. You don't get these topics. You don't understand. You're probably scratching your head going, why does this guy want out of here? Who hurt him? You know, why is his life so bad? Uh, can he, the girls not interested in him or um, go all over the place with that stupid shit? Don't get it. You're looking at the wrong thing because you're focusing on me. There's hundreds of people here that see this too, and they're not me. So what do you have for, to say for them? Are they all the same as me in your mind? Do you assume they're all the same? Oh, they're just angry. They just hate this place. They just hate God. They just whatever. They just blah, blah, blah. Just make up excuses. You'll do anything to look away from the truth of this realm. That's what you're doing. And I can tell you, as much as you want to say, I hate this or hate that, you look foolish and cowardly. You're not as strong as me. You can't look at this realm honestly and say, yeah, it's a realm of suffering. I'm not going to blame this guy on the internet for talking about it. I'm not going to shoot the messenger like a, like a weakling, like a coward would do. I'm not going to shoot him for speaking the truth. I'm actually going to look at this realm the way that he's saying and, and see, hey, does this make sense? Is he speaking the truth? 
And you know what? If he's speaking the truth, it doesn't matter if he's sad or he's angry or what his voice sounds like or if he's speaking into a microphone shirtless or if, or if he has a white t-shirt on or a black t-shirt and I'm not doing the black and white duality. I mean, I could be wearing a green t-shirt or a blue shirt or uh, a peach colored fucking shirt or whatever the case may be. All right? A charcoal colored shirt. How about that? Or a light gray t-shirt. How about that? A neutral color like light gray. I have some light gray art t-shirts with my artwork on it. All right? They look pretty cool. I like them. But you know what? A lot of times I like to wear... I don't like to wear clothes in my apartment when I'm just relaxing, laying in bed, or making a video. I, don't li I, I like to be comfortable in this hell realm. So sue me for that. All right? How about you sue me for that one? But that's what people focus on. His voice, his glasses maybe, maybe my glasses, what my glasses look like. Forget the video, forget the 20 minute or 30 minute video. Focus on that, you know. Or my voice sounded a bit angry. So that means, that means what he's saying isn't true because his voice sounded a little bit angry. Or his vo he was doing some voices of other YouTubers. He was, he was doing some impressions of, hey guys, it's Matt, you know, Matt McKinley. So disregard everything he said. Throw it away. Just discard it, right? That's the way some are. I'm not kidding. You know? Or his volume wasn't loud enough. So we'll focus on that, you know? Remarkable, but, you know, that's the level that, and it's so many, it's more than I really knew. And I, I, I'm one of the guys that's been calling the masses sheep and zombies since the 1990s. So, I mean, it's nothing new to me. There's people that heard me rant about that back then, you know, before there was social media and smartphones and stuff. I noticed it long ago, okay? I just, you know... Um, probably the 80s. I wasn't saying sheep or zombies, but I was aware of it. I just didn't have the terms. I wasn't using the terms, but I could see what was going on in the, in the 1980s. And it's gotten way worse. Just way worse. We're, it's so many. And when you want, run a YouTube channel, you notice it way more than just reading some comments. It's just so many. It really is. And, uh, oh, that's the part of it. I don't know. I, I don't know if... Uh, there's a whole bunch of different species of spirits here or where some of them are from, if they belong here, if maybe they want to be here, they're attached to this place. You know, I'm not going to force them out of this place if they're attached to Earth. If they want to stay here or reincarnate here forever. Who am I to, do, to force them? If they want that, that's their choice. You know, if they think this place is so great, um, they're definitely not looking at what I'm looking at. There's so many that say they care and have empathy, but they don't look at the realm. They don't look at the suffering. So how much empathy, empathy do they actually have? If you see what I'm saying? It's easy to say, oh, I have so much empathy, but you don't see the suffering in the realm. You don't seem to, you don't get it. Like you're in a trance or something. So I don't know. I have a little bit of hope. I do hang on to a little bit of hope for these people. And I try not to go into the hopium territory where it's all going to be fixed we're all going to be, this place is going to be fixed. It's going to end soon. It's going to be rapture time and all this stuff. I don't fall for any of that stuff. So anyway, I'm, I'm getting tired early tonight for some reason. I guess I had kind of a long day and it is kind of emotional to go into certain things, certain topics and, you know, it just is. But this realm is what it is. If you're attached to this place if you're attached to working and jobs and money and all the material shit that goes away, you're not going to be thinking of that if you're in a hospital bed and you know that your time's limited or you're in a hospice bed where you don't get in there unless you know what. Um, are you going to be thinking about your money? Man, I made so much money or I could have made more money or wish I would have invested more money in this. <laughs> I mean... 
Do I really have to tell? It's sad, but do I have to tell some people here you should be thinking about trying to get out of here? You might want to think about that and start forming a plan. If you see what I'm saying? But it's up to you. I mean, you people, you're just wonderful. You're just all wonderful. You could assume that whatever I'm saying is just bullshit and laugh it off or think that, oh, well, can't be true because of his voice. He gets angry sometimes. He gets passionate sometimes. So what he's saying just can't be true because he's not reading this shit to us, feeding it, feeding this to us like a news anchor dressed in a three-piece suit and a tie and, you know, uh, where he has makeup put on, a man wearing makeup, which is what they do on TV news. They're done up in makeup before they go on there. I always thought that was weird, even as a kid. Men wearing makeup on TV, they all do it. And uh, they have a stylist, and they they brush their hair for them and powder. I mean, they do all this shit. It's just a, it's just a it's a presentation. It's a fucking act. It's a show. Okay, There's people on my channel sometimes that say they're woke and they believe in all that shit. They believe the mainstream news is is real. I mean, what more can I say? They don't like the level stuff. They don't like if I say there's different levels. They don't like that. Hurts their ego. Get butt hurt. Go ahead and get butt hurt. This should be called butt hurt realm. That's what Earth is now. Everybody's just a crybaby. Not everybody, but the majority. The majority of the people. Just crybabies. They need their safe spaces. They need their security blankies and Kool-Aid. You know, cookies and Kool-Aid. Coloring books and crayons. Barbie dolls or Care Bears or My Little Ponies. Oh, God. That's the way it is. It's the way it is now. And I'm just tired of it. It it does. It is draining. I mean, it's like... Wow. So, yeah. I mean, focus on the stuff that doesn't matter. I, I have a perfect channel to recommend for that. Quantum of Conscience. I won't call them Quantum of Con Men this time, so you get the channel name right so you can find it. It's perfect for people. They want to study stuff and spend hours listening to him talk about fluff that really doesn't matter. He'll cover everything but what's important and what's going to help you get out of here. That's what he'll cover. And you could worship that guy. He's got a cult going over there, cult to no personality. And some people complain about that. You talk about these other channels. I'm going to keep talking about them and you don't understand what I'm doing. You're just new to this and you don't understand. You're critical of people that you don't understand. Nothing new there. That's humanity. Do you know who has the most critics in this realm? And the most haters? And the most trolls? And the most attackers? And the most idiots trying to brainwashed, trying to drag them down like crabs in a bucket? The real truth speakers. You're going to see lots of the just deranged people around them. You're going to see them attacked, demonically attacked, spiritually attacked you're going to see them go through hell for speaking the truth that's the punishment for speaking the truth here you get punished here for trying to help others as this, as the old adage goes no good deed goes unpunished you try to help someone you could even save their life and they could be ungrateful to the point that later on they'll want to betray you steal your money use you whatever that's what happens here that's literally what happens in this realm. Stuff like that. All right? Gratitude. You want to talk about what's rare. Gratitude is rare. Love is rare. Kindness is rare. These are really rare things. Real empathy. Real caring for others. Caring and sharing truth with them. And sharing a meal or sharing food. Sharing things that shows I care. I love you. You know, I care about you. That's so rare. Do you ever not wonder why it's rare, though? Like, it's one thing to say, yeah, I agree, sanity machine, that is so rare. But do you ever wonder why and go the, take the next step and then the step after that and the step after that and keep going and don't stop it? Yeah, it is rare. But think, why is it rare? Why are we in a realm where that's rare? Why are we in a realm where suffering is everywhere you look, but kindness is rare? Helping is rare. Empathy, sharing, caring. 
somebody telling the truth to help you without any motive like, oh, we're going to make a fortune if I tell this truth or I share this with these, this information with these people. You know, I'm going to make tons of money off this. Make the bread, as the hippies used to say. Make that bread, as they'd say to, in an Alan Watts uh, speech or conference that they'd attend. Got to make that bread, man. Man, got to make that bread, man. How am I going to make all that bread do, doing something I want to do? A lot of people going through life that don't get to do anything they want to do and they're stuck in a wheelchair, completely crippled. So how does that make sense in your model? You criti- you're critical of my model, think I'm just hateful and angry. How do you explain it in your model then? What the fuck is your model for this realm? Because yours doesn't add up. When, when a lot of you people start that are asleep, the sleepers, the sleepwalkers, I'll call them, when you start talking about how you think this realm works, it doesn't make sense. You're trying to fit a triangle into a fucking circular hole. And I'm watching you do it. And I'm watching you and shaking my head saying, it doesn't add up. It's not going to fit. Because it doesn't fit. Trying to force it to fit. Because you want this to be a good place. Which is fine. I wish it was good. But you're trying to force it and it's not there. It's not real. You're not telling the truth. You're not, t- you're not honest with yourself. And you're not honest with others. You're defending evil. So you're not on the side of good. Okay? Some, a lot of people, and it's millions of people in this realm, if not billions, if their numbers are anything close to true. I'm still not sure if I believe there's over a billion. There could be. I don't know for sure. But hypothetically, there could be billions like that that are convincing themselves all the time that this is a good realm because they don't want to believe that it's evil because that hurts their feelings. It's too hard to deal with. So they'll say that evil's good. Do you think that makes you good? Or does it make you evil for defending evil that way and doing worse than calling than turning a blind eye? You're you're telling other people that this place is good. You're doing harm. You're not helping. And you could say, well, sanity machine, you sound angry sometimes, so you're not helping. Oh, I can sound angry and still be helping. In fact, I could be angry about the suffering in this realm, and I could help someone that's not a scammer and not a drug addict or not an alcoholic that's homeless and walk them into a place and buy them food. And I could be angry about this system and about homelessness and about how bad it's getting in this city and how fucked up shit is. I can be angry and I could still help them. Wow, you don't get that. You, that's, that's probably making the hamster wheels go in different directions. One's spinning forward, one's going backwards, and it's almost like the gears are grinding in your mind. What the fuck? I never considered that. Because that's the way some of you operate. You view it as, oh, he sounds angry, so he must be bad. He sounds angry, so he can't be helping anyone. Sounds angry, so he must be wrong. What he's saying about this realm must be wrong because his voice sounds angry. He can't be telling the truth about this realm. This is a good place. This is not an evil place like he's saying. He sounds angry. This isn't a, can't be a, can't be evil. It's a good place. I've seen some good things here, so it's a good place. I've ignored a million fucking evil things, but I've seen one or two good things this year, so it must be a good place. You look brainwashed to me. You look like you're under mind control. I'm not saying it to be hurtful. I'm saying it to be honest. And the more that some of you talk, the more mind controlled you sound. You really do. Call this a hell realm sanity machine, but there's some beauty here. Duh. No kidding. Okay. Do you want me to be condescending? Because you're insulting my intelligence when you say that shit. Yeah, I'm aware there's some beauty here. You don't have to tell me that. You're not pointing out something that I missed or didn't see. Sorry to tell you that. I'm not a toddler. Don't treat me like that. You know? Oh, there's some beauty here? Really? Oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Shocked. I can go for a nature hike and take 100 photos. I can go on a trip for a week somewhere and I've taken over 1,000 photos. 
with a camera, not a phone, before smartphones. I would do that. All right. So yeah, I can notice natural beauty. I can draw it and paint it too. And I can write about it. And I have. So yeah, you're really not showing me something there saying, oh, but there's beauty too. Oh, good job. Brilliant. Fuck, I never noticed. <laughs> it's like you assume you, 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 you it's, you're starting with assumptions. You're on, you're off on the wrong track. You think that people that see the soul trap have gone through life for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years and just not noticed the beauty here. We're just dumb, right? We're dumb. We're blind. We have eyes, but we're blind. We're just walking through life going, what? There's beauty? I just thought it was all hell. Shaking my head. You're not teaching me anything with that simple shit. Even if you think you are, you're not. I never said it was 100% hell by saying it's a hell realm. You don't have to say, but there's beauty here too. Oh God, it's so tedious. No shit. No kidding. You know? It'd be like you opening up my fridge and hypothetically, let's say, for example, it isn't this way, but let's say it was full of meat. My whole fridge was full of all kinds of meat, pork chops, steaks, hamburger, just you name it, roast, sausage, everything that you can think of, you know, whatever you can think of, bacon. It's just piled, every shelf, the whole thing. There was nothing else in there. It's all, you know, all you could see is meat. But they open the fridge door and they happen to notice one green grape that's, you know, sitting there on a shelf. It's not wrapped up. It just had fallen out of like a, a bag of grapes or something. And it's almost buried. And they just say, well, there's grapes too. It's not just meat. And I'm talking about a big size fridge, one of those double door fridge fridges. And it's just... Um, packed with meat and I'm talking about enough meat in there that it would feed a person for a fucking year if you see what I'm saying just a ton of meat where it's like oh my god you could feed a church with the amount of meat is, that's in there if you started cooking that up and it, it, you'd probably have leftovers maybe wouldn't eat it all it's just tons and the, what they're focused on is they see one loose grape in there and say well there's there's grapes too and they don't even mention, you know, the 500 fucking pounds of meat or whatever, whatever amount is stuffed into that huge fridge that can fit in there. The fridge and freezer are full. See what I'm saying? That's what it's like. Or it's, uh, it's like taking someone to a concert and, and after that they're just talking about the seagull. They, know, they watch the whole time sitting on a fence, po fence post. The main point is totally missed. It's like whoosh right over their head. It goes right over their head. They miss the whole point. And then you're with them and you're like talking about it afterwards and they just are talking about this fucking seagull and you're like, you didn't hear the music or, or hear the band or whatever and they're like, they think they noticed something that you didn't and they're like, uh, didn't you see the seagull? And you're like, yeah, I saw the seagull but that wasn't my focus. I, I focused on the music and the bands. Like we watched four bands play for hours. We were there for fucking three hours, man. We were there for like over three hours together and all you got out of it is watching that seagull <laughs> i mean that <laughs> you could watch a seagull anywhere anytime i mean i could take you places here by the river and there's seagulls you know you can do that anytime you don't have to go into a concert and be in a crowd and and there's you know pans on stage and you, you kind of miss the whole fucking point and that's what people do and it's, it really is frustrating aggravating but it also makes me wonder How's that possible? Because they're not like us. They're not like me. And they're not like certain ones on my channel. Where we can hone in on what's important and focus on that. And we just don't nitpick and get sidetracked and just, you know. You see what I'm saying? I can go further. I can go just into the disgusting realm. And I've tried to hold off on that. Maybe that's needed. Okay. I'll give another scenario. Okay, another analogy. It's like walking into somebody's fucking ghetto place, their ghetto hood apartment, and I'm talking, it's bad. It's a really low rent place. There's cockroaches. 
As soon as you walk in there, you see some. You see some walking in the front door. You're not in their apartment yet. You see some in the building. They're just everywhere. It's disgusting. The whole place is sickening. It stinks like garbage. It stinks worse than just weed. There's a lot of weed smokers. There's crack addicts. There's needles. Use needles on the floor. I can go on to really paint a picture for you. Okay? And it's bad. It stinks. It looks awful. It's garbage. It's trashy. You're worried about getting, you know, walking out of there. But you, you're worried about, can I get out of this place without catching a disease or something? That's how bad it is. There's rats, cockroaches, used needles. There's blood on the floor. You're in a bad place. You're visiting someone. You don't live there. You walk in their place, you knock on their door, and they're a hoarder. And they don't just have shit that they collected from garage sales, but they got garbage piled up. It stinks in there. There could be dead animals like that hoarder show that have been dead in there for years, piled under their stuff. That they don't even find, they don't even know. It's just disgusting. There's roaches. There's everything that you can think of. It's gross. All right? But you go into denial mode and you find one little trinket buried under trash on a shelf and you say, well, there's good stuff in here too. Look at this. Look at this little shiny trinket that I found. This, this little thing, uh, this looks like one of those little collectible spoons that, you know, they sell at these tourist traps that says California on it or something, you know, or New York City. And it has a little emblem, like they sell at those shitty tourist trap shops. I love New York is on, is on it or whatever. Wow, I like this little, this little thing that somebody spent $25 on that's like, you know, 50 cents, 25 cents to make or whatever. Wow, I like this. It's not all trash in here. It's not all disgusting. It's not all, not all, not all, not 100%. Look at this. You open the fridge, it's disgusting. Beyond words, disgusting. But you find one op unop unopened can of beer. You say, well, it's in a can, it should be fine. I I'm okay to drink this. It's not raw, you know, can't be spoiled. It's in a fridge that's so gross it'd make you throw up. Just opening the door. Crack open the beer and drink it like you're just pretending you're just in uh, Disneyland. Not that bad. Found one thing that was kind of nice looking in here. This looks nice. Carry this around with me and I'll drink my beer that's not spoiled and it's fine. Just pretend. That's what you look like to me. All right. Yes, I, I used, I was hyperbolic with that. I exaggerated a bit. All right, I'm, I'll admit to that. But you could go into a place like that and there could be someone that could really do that. And I think that's what a lot of people do with this whole realm. Denial. Pretense. They just pretend. It's not that bad. It's not all evil like this, san this crazy sanity machine guy is talking about, man. It's not that bad. There's some beauty here. Look, I can find some under the garbage and the, and the rats and, uh, you know, just the pile, the hoard of stuff. I can find something. Dig through this trash. Not that bad. So you're not like me because I don't look at it that way at all. The first thing I would speak about would be the trash and the filth and the roaches and the rats and the needles and everything else. That would be my focus rather than trying to deny it and go into denial. So my reaction and the way I would handle viewing the whole thing would be entirely different from the people that the first thing they say is, it's not that bad or there's, so, there's some beauty here. You're trying to defend evil that way and trash. And I see through you. I see what you're doing. <clears throat> Even if you're unaware of it as you're doing it, I still see you. And that's the part that really, I think, bothers some of them. I see what you're doing, even if you don't see what you're doing. I really do. 
deny what's right there, the majority. The majority of this realm is evil and suffering. It's clear to anyone that's observant and honest. That's all it takes. You don't need an IQ above 130, 140. You don't need that. So, I'm sure there's people with an IQ of 100 or below even, under 100, that could notice that much, that would be nodding their heads in agreement saying, yes, I noticed that this realm is full of evil and suffering, and it's by design. It's not just by accident or just happening today or this week or yesterday or just this year or recent years. No, it's like this. It's like this. just a bad day, a bad week. It's by design. So people that want to look for sameness, why don't you look at the obvious differences? I'm not like you. I don't go into, den into denial. Instead of mentioning evil, immediately say, well, there's beauty here too. And try to sidetrack and deflect. I don't do that. You do that. So we're different. Okay? The ones that are doing that, you do that not like me. You can't face what I faced. And on top of that, I don't believe that you're getting out until you do. And I don't think some of you will. I really don't. It's arrogant too. You think I'm arrogant. You're the ones claiming that we don't see the, the tiny bit of beauty that you see. Oh, we see it. We see it. It's, it's you that doesn't see what we see. That's where the issue is. We see the little bit of beauty, whether it's 1%, 10% of this realm, we see it. You're not seeing the 80 to 90% that's evil and suffering. You don't get it. That's the problem. You are. You're on team evil. You can look at that whatever way you want, People say that shaming them. Some people say, oh, that's divide and conquer. That's this and that. You know, I don't want people with me that are on team evil. So you can say I'm dividing. Good, good. I don't want them with me. I don't want people riding in a car with me that I don't trust. I don't want people in my life that will be betray me that I can't trust. You think I want people with me doing this that are on team evil? that are defending the evil of this realm? I want them as a partner? No, I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want you. So those are my thoughts for the evening or for the night. Um, I don't know what you'll think of this. I am getting pretty sleepy. I mean, I could smoke some more weed. No amount of weed in the world is going to take away my righteous rage when I see the evil of this realm and start thinking about it, and start talking about it, and then hear people start defending it. Well, don't you see the beauty? There's beauty here, too. No, I never noticed that my whole fucking life. Like, how insulting are you? Like, people that do that, and I try to be patient with them. I really do. I try not to just slam them at first. I try to be patient, thinking, well, they're under mind control. I'm dealing with yet another one that's under mind control that feels they have to point out the beauty to me. Like, I, I, don't, I just don't see that. It's me that's not seeing, right? It's not, it's not you, right? I mean, oh, gosh. And it's the same script. It's like your program, like robots. You don't even realize that you sound like you're just reading from the same script as millions of others have already done. And you think, I'm the same. You're the same, people reading from a script. Well, there's beauty, too. Oh, shit, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice. Thank you. You're teaching me something. And then people that get have some egos, they come here, and they think that I'm not teaching them anything. They're watching these videos, and I'm talking about things that they, I'm pretty sure a lot of times they haven't heard of or studied before. But they'll just claim that they know it all. They've already known all this stuff. But meanwhile, they were talking about this realm being a planet in messages to me. You know it all. What are you using the term planet for then? That's it. That jumps out at me. Comets, asteroids, nuclear weapons. 
I'm sorry, but that's all psyops. Like you, you're, you're not as awake as you think you are. You're, you're kind of asleep. And then you're kind of saying that, oh, I was aware of everything that's on your channel. No, you weren't. Because you were just saying about shit, you know, that you thought was going to happen or believe in. It's like, you know, you're, you're believing in the lies of this realm, okay? You're, you're, uh, you're under mind control. So anyway, I'm starting to get tired. But, and I am tired of certain things. I'm tired of this realm in general. And those people can't relate because they're just excited to get up the next morning and go to work and do the same job and make that fake paper money, that evil money with in God we trust on it. What God? What God do you think it is that you that you're putting your faith in with earning those dollar bills? I mean, the whole thing's a fucking joke. So it's a it's a sick joke, but um, you can believe what you want. You can, you know, you can go get that money and focus on that, but. I, it's my belief that if you do that and one day you die, you can't just drop it all attachment to this realm when you've lived a lifetime of attachment to this realm. I don't think it works that way, that on your deathbed you're just going to be like, fuck it, I, I don't care about any, and really not care about being attached. I think you'll still be thinking about money, thinking about material shit, and uh, so be it. That's the way some people are. I'm focused on leaving here and I'm focused on helping thousands of others leave here but I know I can't help everyone I just can't some people that are too far gone and they're just too egotistical and arrogant where they come on my channel and, and it, I would say it's impossible for them to know everything that I cover on my channel but they kind of just pretend that oh I know all this already it's like bullshit no you didn't know all this before you got here you know what I mean I just don't buy that so I don't know who they think they're trying to fool, but it's not honest. It really isn't honest to do that. And uh, I think they get butthurt that there's things here that they never looked into, and they don't like that. They're like, damn, this guy looked into stuff that I never thought to look into. I'll just say that I know all this stuff already. They just lie about it. So it's the way this realm is. I mean, most people are not that honest, you know. They'll talk about entities being their friends and stuff like that. And days after watching my videos, let's say, of pointing out that, hey, they're not your friends. All right? You're back here. They got you here in this hell realm. They're not your friends. And they'll just say, oh, I knew that already. I knew all that already. Everything in your videos, they already knew, right? I mean, it's not honest. It's just not honest. So do I think that dishonest people are really going to get out of here? I don't know, but... I don't know. Kind of think you have to evolve somehow beyond that. Um, anyway, my thoughts of getting out of here are different than a lot of others covering these topics, but there'll be people that will show up here and say, you're just preaching the same thing. They don't see difference. They, I don't know whether they're too far gone or what it is, but how they see the sameness between my channel and other channels, it's it's remarkable. It's unbelievable. It's incredible, but they do. So anyway, I do think people are damaged and you could live in the only house that's completely custom made, unique. It's a brick house, let's say, and it's gorgeous. It's old, some old style. It's a century home surrounded by lookalike acres, houses with the same color siding. They all look the same, built like factory houses. And somebody would say, your house is the same as everything else in this street, in this neighborhood. It's the same thing. They see sameness where it doesn't even exist. It's like, fuck, man, I can't help you. You're, you're just too far gone for me to help. You're seeing sameness where it really doesn't exist. But I don't know what to say to people. I mean, I try to help people out of these cults and out of brainwashing, but I just can't help everyone. And um, That's about it. I'm going to end this video soon. I rambled on in this video. Had some things that I just wanted to get off my chest. Pretending that you know everything, it doesn't fool me. You know, you must think I'm a dummy. It's disrespectful towards me. It's basically saying I can tell you this shit and you'll just believe it. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. All right? I just don't buy it. Just don't. It's not even close to the truth. So there you go. There's the video. Enjoy it.